Hey, this is Brother Jeff, and I wanted to walk you through how to use the new Storyline Interactions inside of uh, Articulate Storyline. Now, you can find these interactions, and uh, this is a brief introduction to uh, a couple of them here. But you can find these interactions right now if you go under Activities and down to Articulate Storyline. Now, these interactions right now, there's just the professional style. There will be more styles later. And um, these interactions you can download, and they're not necessarily games, but they're just simple interactions that you can insert throughout your course. So once you've downloaded these interactions and you've uh, double-clicked on the file that gets downloaded, it does get inserted as a template inside of your course and so or inside of Storyline. <clears throat> that means anytime you want to use one of these interactions, you just right-click and add a page, and then it shows up in your drop-down box. And now you can, at this point, select the drop-down box for the type of interaction you want to build, and you'll see a list of the different types of interactions within that category. For example, ladders, or in this case, tabs. And so if you wanted to use one of the tab interaction, you just double-click on one file, and then it gives you a list of all the different interactions you can use inside of your courses. So in this case, if I wanted to use the tabs left interaction, I just go ahead and select tabs left, and then hit import. Now this will import the interaction inside of my course. If I wanted to insert a new interaction, I just click on new slide. And then I can select a different type of tab interaction. Now the tab interactions work a little bit different than the, than the games. Let me go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. You'll notice we still have instructions on the left hand side, but you'll also notice a variable that says tabs left num of tabs. Now what that is is the number of tabs that you want to actually use in this interaction. It's true that you can just drag these tabs off the off the stage area and for the ones that you don't want to use and that would work just fine. Or you can come into the variables and select the variables and then change the variable that's set here as the default. Right now it's defaulted as seven. The reason why is because there's seven different tabs. But I can go ahead and select this to be four. And if I select OK and preview it, only four of those tabs will actually show. I'm going to go ahead and leave it defaulted at 7 here. Now the other thing I can do is I can change the instructions and change the instruction text and then insert some images into this white area or if I have long instructions I may not have enough room for images. And Then I can come over to the tabs and change the labels of the tabs. And once I've inserted the labels in the tabs I don't have to change it for every single tab once it's selected. I can come over to the right hand side in the slide layers and go to tab 1 and you'll notice that the label of that tab is pretty much changed already. In these different layers all you need to do is go ahead and just select the content area and change out the text and then insert an image. Let's go ahead and just change a shape here. So on content 1 I'm just going to insert this shape. Well, let's go ahead and go to content 2 or tab 2 here. I'm going to insert a different type of shape just to show you the different types of things that you can do. And then I just go throughout all the way to tab 7. Well, if I was to go ahead and preview this, now I'll be able to see those different shapes show up at different points once I select those tabs. So you'll notice the introduction. I don't have any image here, but if I select tab 1, there's my shape right there. If I select tab 2, there's my new shape. And if I go back to tab 1, I'll still have that shape here. So the nice thing about doing layers is you can pretty much put whatever content you want in the layers with the exception of taking up the room for the tab share, but you can pretty much put whatever content you want here and um, shapes, sound, videos, whatever you want it to do and it will show up once the learner actually selects that tab. Now let's go ahead and insert a new interaction. I'm just going to close out this project and I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And in this project, I'm going to insert a new slide. I'm going to select the drop-down box to these ladders interaction. Now, all these tab interactions pretty much are the same. They work a little bit differently, um, but for the most part, they should be easy to follow. You'll notice over on the left-hand side that getting started, we have ladders left, num of tab shown. Well, that's the same thing as we saw before. If you click on the variables, you can change the default number of tabs that are actually shown. In this case, it's 7, but uh, you may want to change it to 6, 5, or whatever you want it to there. 
you still have your introduction text and your introduction header. And then over on the layers, you still have your content one, content three, all the way up to tab seven there, or content seven. And so you can go ahead and insert your images, your shapes, your contents, more interactions on these. Um, if you wanted to insert buttons and have hotspots and triggers, it's pretty much up to you. But at this point, you have uh, navigation on the left-hand side for ladders. And then you also have a navigation for the, um, uh, or you have the content that shows depending on what's selected. Now coming back to the website, there's a couple other layouts that are similar to this, like the targets. We also have the uh, tour, being able to select on tours. Uh, we also have the pyramid, and then we also have the stairs as well. Um, and selecting on one of these will give you an example of each of these different types of tabs. Some of them do require a, a pop-up. Let me go to that one. So for example, if I select this one, the pop-up, you'll notice that the content is, or, is not over on the right-hand side. It actually pops up here. Now, and you can navigate through the different content by selecting the arrow or selecting the X to exit out of it as well. Now, those are very similar to inserting it inside of uh, Storyline. Um, when you select the tab on the on the layers, or when you select when you select the tab on the layer, um, it basically allows you to add your content images within that white area. So that's how you get started with the Storyline interactions using some of the different interactions. And um, this one is the tabs, and we also talked about the ladders, but they're very similar across the board, if, whichever interaction you decide to use.